Welcome to Starbase Pink. This is your daily space and SpaceX news. Let's start this update with next week closures. We have possible closures from Monday, August 22nd to Thursday, August 25th from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. We hope to see Booster 7 moving back to the orbital launch site for another static fire test. Or maybe more. We will see. Yesterday at 3.05 p.m. UTC, SpaceX's Cargo Dragon undocked successfully from the International Space Station heading back to planet Earth. The splashdown is planned for today, Saturday, August 20th. SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket launched from Launch Complex 40, carrying 53 Starlink satellites. This is liftoff. Lift off the Falcon 9, go Falcon, go Star. As you can see here, we have main engine cutoff, first stage separation, second stage ignition, and fairing separation. We have Falcon 9 first stage landing on short file of Gravitas drone ship for the fourth time. This is the ninth successful landing for booster 1062. And the satellite deployment confirmed. Elon talks about fairing halves. He said each fairing half is a fully capable re-entry vehicle with its own thrusters, thermal protection, avionics, and sensor suite. That's why the fairing halves costs about $6 million. From Elon to Jeff, Blue Origins Jacqueline ship arrived to the port of Brownsville. Jeff Bezos named the ship after his mother, but now it's scrapping time. In the next video, I will give you more details about this one. All thanks to La Padre for the live footage. And we have the launch of Long March 2D Y66 rocket carrying three Yaogan 35 satellites. That's it for now. This is the end of this episode. See you later.